Data has shown that COVID-19 tends to break out among families, but that's typically due to a gathering. One man says that he lost his mother, his brother, his uncle, several more family members got sick, although they haven't seen each other in a group setting since New Year's. Let's go to Fox 4's Alex Boyer live tonight with this family story. Alex. Hi, Heather. Yeah, a very sad story indeed. You know, the Joaquin family has spent most of their time over the past few months either in hospitals or in funeral homes. COVID-19 has really ravaged their family, even though they've made it a point to stay far apart. This happy, close-knit North Texas family pictured here at a gathering last year has been hit hard by the coronavirus. It's just everything's happening so fast. Tragedy first struck in May when Jose Joaquin's uncle, 64-year-old Elpidio Munoz, got sick with COVID-19 and died. What do you say? You know, there's no words for that. Days later, Joaquin's mother, 52-year-old Guadalupe, had a hard time getting out of bed. Guadalupe, a diabetic, was rushed to the hospital where she died. Joaquin says they later learned after her death that she also had COVID-19. They were like, she tested positive. And we all like looked at each other in shock, like, we did it. That's when the rest of the family decided to get tested. Joaquin says he, his father, Ascension, and four siblings, including 35-year-old Fernando, a husband and father, tested positive for the virus. <laughs> Fernando was admitted to Medical City, Dallas, on June 8th. His father admitted to the same hospital on June 12th. Neither had any underlining medical conditions, but both ended up on a ventilator. Fernando developed pneumonia and died. My brother left the hospital to a funeral home. And my dad left the hospital to his recovery center. Ultimately, you cannot protect yourself absolutely from a respiratory virus. Dr. David Maldonado is a pulmonologist. He did not treat any member of the family. Dr. Maldonado says COVID-19 affects people differently. Initial thoughts about the virus have almost been turned on their on their head as far as how the vac how the virus affects people, what people it affects, how we should treat patients. Jose Joaquin is desperate for answers. The family had not been together since New Year's and added that everyone except his parents lives separately. We hardly ever went out. We only went out for your typical essentials, you know, your groceries. And Joaquin's father remains at a rehab center where he continues to recover. The rest of the siblings uh, who tested positive for COVID-19, they suffered mild symptoms and are recovering at home. Uh, the family, meanwhile, has set up a GoFundMe account to help out. I've included that information on my Twitter page.